All right, guys. So we're gonna do an unboxing of the Rolex Datejust 36 millimeter, uh, the two-tone with the Wimbledon dial. Uh, waited about seven months to get it. Um, got it from a good friend of mine who owns a jewelry store. And uh, if you guys are interested, I'll throw his link in there too. Maybe he can hook you guys up too. So uh, here it goes. Oh, also for the unboxing. Rolex threw one of those guys in there too. <clears throat> so here's your classic green box. It Yes, it does have the paper in there in case you people are gonna try to say it's fake. There's your paper, makes all the difference, I guess. There's your box. Just there. And uh, hang on one second. Crack it open. And there you go. Rolex HS 36. <clears throat> Wimbledon dial, as I said. Um, originally, I did not order the Wimbledon dial. Um, I ordered a white dial with the gold numerals. Um, I did want the Wimbledon dial. However, I was told that it would be very hard to get in, uh, in uh, today's climate with Rolexes since it is there's apparently a Rolex feeding frenzy going on. And so this happened to come in before the one that I ordered. My jeweler offered it to me instead. And of course, I went ahead and took it. Um, you got this little compartment here with all your important information, the serial number and everything's on there. I'm not gonna take it out, um, but it's there. Here is your instruction book, owner's manual, if I may. And then if you remove the watch, I'll set this aside right now. You have the little green uh, tag, I guess, and the extra links. Uh, give me one second, I'll go ahead and put it on so you can see how it looks on the wrist. Sorry for the focusing issues. <clears throat> there it is. On the wrist, this is the 36. I was a little skeptical about the size, um, knowing now they had the 41 available. However, this is the classic size for the day chest, and I have a tiny wrist, pediatric size, possibly. <laughs> um, and I do have a tag watch that is a 41 millimeter, I believe, and it's absolutely tremendous. It's a task to actually wear it, um, and it does bother me from time to time, the heaviness of it and the size, even though I do love it. You know, there's a time and place for a big face watch, but this watch can be worn, for me anyway, all day long, every day, doing whatever I want to do, and it's super comfortable. Um, so if anybody tells you, oh, the, the 36 mil is, is a woman's size, or it's too small, blah, 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 I, I get it if you have a big wrist, a large wrist, but this size watch fits perfectly. Um, and... Like I said, it's not, it's, it, I barely even feel it on my wrist right now. It's perfect. Size and weight is great. Um, there you go. You got the date and you got the date in the window right there. And uh, highly recommend a 36 millimeter. Um, I know that's a little hard to say in today's uh, watch, watch world. Everyone wants the big face, but not on this particular model anyway. They have the models that have the big faces, you know, the GMT, the Yacht Master. Those ones look great in the big face. But it's a different class of watch. This is more of a classy fit, classy look, casual. Um, wear whatever, do whatever. You could dress it up. You could dress it down. However you want to wear this watch, um, you can go ahead and wear it. So if you guys like the video, like, subscribe. And I'm going to post a lot more unboxing stuff. Um, in terms of pricing, you guys know what it, it cost. Uh, MSRP is on the website. There was no special DSR or anything like that. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys.